Welcome to Electra Online and in this video we're going to see if we understand now what we saw in the previous two videos. We're going to do an example. We have a three slit interference pattern, the phase angle is 60 degrees and we're trying to find the intensity. So we're not yet required to find out the pattern, where in the pattern we are or anything like that. We'll learn how to do that later. Simply, if we're given that we have three slits and the phase angle is 60 degrees, what is the intensity at that location on the screen at an angle so that we have a phase difference of 60 degrees between adjacent slits. All right, the way we do this, we draw our first phaser. So this would be the magnitude in the direction of our first phaser, the first um, electromagnetic wave coming through the first slit right there. That would be the amplitude of the electric field oscillations. All right, second one would be at an angle of 60 degrees relative to that one. So let's draw a 60 degree angle. Oh, no, nope, that would be right here. So this would be the phase is equal to 60 degrees. So the second phaser would be in this direction, same length, but a different direction. This is E sub naught. And now we have a third phaser that is 60 degrees relative to this one, which would place it in this direction right there. That would be our third phaser, E sub naught. And so we know then that the total sum of the three phasers is the vector sum of the three, which would be this one right there. This would be E total. All right, how do we find the value of E total? Well, we have to add up those three phasers vectorally, which means we need the X and Y components of that, which means that E total in the X direction is equal to the X component of this one, which is the whole component, E sub naught, plus the X component of this one, well, that would be E sub naught, times the cosine of 60 degrees plus, well now we have the x component of this one. Notice the x component of this one is in this direction and uh, let's see here what angle do we take? Well if this is 60 degrees and that's 60 degrees that's a total of 120 degrees which means that this angle right here would be equal to 60 degrees. We know that's pointing this way and we want the x component of that so really we want to subtract from that minus E sub naught times the cosine of 60 degrees. Well, that looks like that the X component of this one will cancel out the X component of this one, and that means the X component of E sub T would simply be equal to E sub naught. So this is equal to 1 E sub naught. All right, next, we want to find the Y component. E total in the Y direction is equal to well, there's zero component of the first one plus E sub naught times, it would be the Y component here, that would be the sine of 60 degrees, plus the Y component of this one, which would also be E sub naught times the sine of 60 degrees. So that's equal to zero plus 0 0.866 E sub naught plus 0 0.866 E sub naught. So that would be equal to uh, that would be 1.732 E sub naught for the Y component. All right, so now we have the X and the Y component. The X component is this, the Y component is this. So to find the total value, the total length of E sub T, the total electric field strength, so E sub T would be equal to the square root of E sub T in the X direction squared plus E sub T in the Y direction squared equal to the square root of E sub naught squared plus 1.732 E sub naught, 1.732 E sub naught squared, and that would be equal to 1.732 squared plus 1, that's 4, that would be equal to 2 E sub naught. And then you know that the intensity is equal to this number squared times I sub naught. So therefore the intensity is equal to 4 times I sub naught, where I sub naught is simply equal to the intensity of a single ray. Of course, now we have three rays coming together at some angle theta hitting the screen. And so the total intensity at that location, probably somewhere in this, this region right here, would be 4 times the intensity of the middle of the central max. Oh, I'll take that back. That's the middle of the central max. This is, okay, so 
scrap what I just said. This is nine times I sub naught for the central max. So that means that the intensity here would be slightly less than half the maximum at the central max. That's a better way of saying it. Anyway, that gives you a feel for how to calculate the, the electric field intensity at any location, knowing the phase angle, and find the intensity on the screen of the three rays coming together at that particular location. And that's how we do that.